Hi, in this video we will see how we can return the sum of two numbers. So we have two numbers, the user will put any two random numbers and based on that this program will sum those two numbers and it will return the output. So for example the user is typing 10 and 20. So the program will take these two inputs and it will produce the sum of these two numbers and it will give us the result 30. Okay, so we will develop uh, this small program in this tutorial and in this tutorial i am using visual studio code and python programming language all together and so let's get started so here we are seeing that we it will take two inputs from the user and then after that it will add so basically we will create a small function okay so function name we can make it addition or something else and in python to create a function we have to use the keyword it's called def that means definition and then after that we have to type the function name the function name can be anything but in this case uh, we will try to uh, put a function name which is more meaningful so this program is adding two numbers and it is returning so we can uh, make the function name like addition okay so inside this addition actually we have to pass uh, parameters so there are two numbers right so we have to pass two parameters uh, like number one for example number but you are uh, you are fine to use any variable name also and after that we have to put a colon as in python all method uh, definition is starts with a colon i mean the first line is ends with a colon and then after that what we have to do we have to uh, implement the method but right now i will not implement i am typing pass so that the program will not give any error and, and later i can implement this method okay now let's come to the point so we need to capture the inputs from the user suppose there are user is interested to input two random values okay so what we have to do we have to capture the inputs so to capture the inputs from the terminal we can use the method it's called input and inside this input we can type a meaningful message so that user can easily understand what uh, he or she needs to put or type so we can type like enter first number okay uh, so this thing i mean this input and this is string inside it it will tell user to enter the first number okay so user will input the number after getting the number what we can do we can actually convert it to integer okay so we can use integer method and then we can wrap it so uh, when user will type anything that is as a string right user is typing and then we are converting to an integer okay and finally what we can do we can actually store this uh, value uh, into a variable suppose the variable name is number one okay so what we did we kept uh, we prompted user to put a number and user is typing some string like one two three this is actually treating as a string and then we are converting as uh, input okay i mean we are converting to an integer okay so the number becomes integer and then after that we are storing that in a number okay so later in this way we can capture uh, like second input from the user okay so i'm going to copy this line and then i will paste it and then i will change the variable name to number two because there are two numbers right and here we have to change a little bit we have to type second okay so we are done so basically what we did uh, we got captured two inputs from user and put it in number one and number two now uh, we have to call this method to add these two numbers to add this number we have to call like addition and then we have to pass the parameters so we had the parameters are these two number one and number two so we can type number one then comma number two so these are the parameters uh, basically we need to pass and if we call this method now it will do something now let's implement this method so i'm going to remove this pass and then what we have to do we have to return the sum of these two numbers so this is a simple math operation so we can use number one and then plus number two so it will add these two number okay but we uh, if we call this method it will not give us anything so what we have to do we have to return uh, this output okay so we can type the uh, keyword return and then 
it will add this two number and it will return the summation of these two number okay so uh, that's all so now let's print the output okay so it will take the user uh, take the input from the user and then it will print the output okay so to print the output uh, we can use the method uh, python method in python there is a method it's called print and inside it we can actually write some meaningful message like uh, sum of two numbers okay so we can actually type here sum of two numbers and then how do you can see we can uh, output the sum or result so we can put the argument uh, so here the argument is zero and then after that we can use format and then inside it we have to define the variable so here uh, we, we are trying to output this thing so we can directly call this thing or we can uh, actually initialize it in a variable and then we can call this variable so i'm doing some shortcut i'm going to cut it and then i'm putting it over there okay and then that's all and now save it and run it so what we did uh, we captured two inputs from the user and then uh, we are calling this uh, method uh, by two uh, by passing two arguments and then it is printing the results so let's run it so right click and then choose run python file in terminal okay now it is asking user to put, uh, enter the first number suppose the first number is 800 okay then after 800 typing i'm pressing enter so now it is asking the second number suppose the second number is 200 and then finally it is showing the sum of two numbers 1000 okay so i'm going to delete it let's uh, test it with some negative number like this okay so right click and run python file in terminal and then after that type a number like uh, like 41 for example and then type enter okay and then type another negative number like uh, minus 8 for example and then press enter and it will give us the output i mean uh, the sum of these two negative numbers is minus 49 okay and that's all in this way guys you can easily uh, create a small python program which can return the sum of the numbers and on last thing if you feel this video is useful please consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video